Hey friends, I know I'm a few minutes late, so I hope um, you all weren't waiting on me anxiously. Um, but here we are, and it is Tuesday morning at 11.30ish, and it is time for Prayer Corner with Reverend Jean. Um, we do have a few that we'll be praying for today that are congregational concerns. If you have uh, a concern that you wish to lift, um, while we're praying, just go ahead and type it in the comments, and I will lift that up while we are praying. Um, also, uh, so because of that, I might uh, awkwardly open my eyes occasionally and make sure that uh, we have covered um, everyone's prayer concerns. But with that, uh, let us join our hearts and minds to prayer in prayer this morning. Gracious, loving God, we give you thanks for this beautiful sunshine this morning after the storms of last night. God, we are grateful that um, we have this opportunity to gather, even virtually, in prayer this morning. Lord, we lift up uh, Betty Cummings as she's transitioning and moving to uh, Nebraska. We continue to pray for Jean Justice as she recovers. We continue to pray for the family of Burgie Dyson um, and his recent death. We also lift up Kim Hammerstrom's grandson and um, his dad. So Riley Duckworth and um, his dad who have been diagnosed with COVID-19. Riley is also has received recently treatments for leukemia. Um, and so we want to lift them into your hands this this morning. Um, we are grateful for the medical care, excellent medical care that we have in our area. Lord, we are so eager to gather together again to physically feel the love of our Christian brothers and sisters. And so this morning we come to you knowing that we are still connected, we are still gathered, it's just not the same. So as we are connected and as we are gathering, even here virtually, I ask that you remind us that we are not alone, that you do love us and care for us, that we love each other and care for each other and because we do we are we are staying socially distant god be with those who are still working those essential workers who are putting their lives at risk their families at risk for the rest of us Lord, I pray for nurses and doctors and medical personnel, emergency workers, as they also continue to put their lives at risk for the rest of us. Lord, we ask that you keep them safe, that you continue to guide them in their decision making. Lord, we pray for those who are sick and ill and in hospitals, not with coronavirus, but with um, other illnesses, other life-threatening illnesses. Lord, we pray that they know you are with them. It is so scary to be alone in a hospital bed right now when no family can visit, no, no pastor can visit, and so I pray that they feel your strength and your comfort in this time. God, I pray for those that are in nursing homes and uh, residential facilities that are on extreme lockdown, that cannot be visited by their loved ones. Lord, I pray for the caregivers that are in those facilities as well. I pray that they may feel your power and your love. God, I continue to pray and lift up our kids and our parents as they continue to do online digital learning. Lord, be with each of them. 
strengthen them. Know that, help them to know that you are in control and that the world will return to some sense of normalcy soon. Lord, be with each of us this day as we continue to feel your presence and as we continue to share your love in the very many ways that we can, um, by a phone call or a text, a drive-by parade, a sidewalk chalk reminder. Help us to share your love with those who need to hear that encouraging word today. We continue to live into your presence and into your plan. It is in your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen, friends. I hope all are doing well this morning and, and that you are all being good, socially distancing yourselves. Um, continue to send in your prayer requests and we will lift them up together. Have a good Tuesday.